I'm sorry, but this just has to be addressed. For those of you that follow the DJ contest that I've been posting about, you'll know who Ready for Rebirth is, and you'll know the situation that this is all surrounding and in regards to. This is a video addressing him directly, so here we go. Dude, you need to cut out what you're doing right now and just stop it. Posting slanderous post after slanderous post directed at not only myself, but the GFW organizers, the Gets Fucking Weird organizers, is not helping you look like you were wronged. It's making you look like an immature, childish, and unprofessional prick. This can really screw you over in the future. I have no reason to fuck you over. I don't know you. You don't know me. And I really do not appreciate the accusation that I paid someone to spam you. I don't appreciate you going up and posting scammer alert on your fan page in regards to me. I've only been living out on this side of the country for a year, or just a little over a year. And I am very, very new to the DJ scene out here. I'm not new to the DJ world in general by any means, as everyone on this channel will know, but out here in this particular crowd, I'm a newcomer. And I don't appreciate that you're trying to create a hostile environment for me because of that. The fact is, you have a very minimal, almost non-existent following. You keep claiming that you don't know how you got to that level of likes. Even though you admitted you used spamming techniques in order to get there. Therefore, you can't say you don't know how it got there. The GFW people saw right through this. Everyone who was supporting not just myself, but all of the other competitors saw right through this as well, and they thought it was bullshit. The fact is, you also called the owner and organizer of this event a douche. And in the post that I linked below, you will see that they do this. It's near the bottom of his post. Oh, that just really screwed you over. Not just for this event, but for future events. The EDM world is a very tightly knit community. A lot of people all know each other. The fact of the matter is, when you do something like that for no reason, because you're just having a bad day, it fucks you over in the future for other events. Now, I'm not innocent from having called, having called somebody an asshole who organized an event, but it was because they legitimately fucked me over and stood me up. And loads of other people saw it and didn't like it either. And I've only done that once in my life. This is your inaugural event from what I can tell. And you've already screwed yourself over. Another thing that you did that, on a personal level, really pissed me off was you threw your own kid under the bus. That just, that still galls me that you even thought to do that. You keep posting about how you've got a three-year-old autistic son and you've got to work three jobs in order to support them and life is just real hard for you. I'm sorry, but that's fucking reality. Utilizing your child as a bargaining chip for other people's sympathy is absolutely disgusting. And your child deserves to be honored more than that. They deserve better than that. You don't get to just screw people over and then when you get caught claim, well, I need to win this contest. I've got a lot on the line here. If you're working three jobs realistically and you have to take care of a three-year-old autistic child, where do you have the time to even attend an event like this? I empathize with you. I, have, I don't have an autistic child. My daughter is not autistic at all. I don't know what it's like to raise an autistic kid. 
but I can imagine from what I've been told that it's very difficult and it's just a nightmare for the parents especially if they're not you know really sure of how to go about taking care of a child with severe autism however even the most noobish parent to something like that knows better than to just try to use their kid to win an online argument what you did was fucking low and you goddamn know it and there's no defense in the fucking world for that you should apologize to your kid one day and go up to him and say son I tried to use you for sympathy in an online argument over a DJ contest and I'm sorry they deserve that you don't get any sympathy out of me. You don't get any sympathy out of these people because in your post you expressed they didn't show any sympathy for it. Because why the fuck would they? They don't know you and don't owe you anything. All in all, you need to cut this shit out and grow up. You're a grown adult. You have responsibilities. Now own those responsibilities and try to be an adult. I'm not trying to go out of my way to be a fucking dick here. I'm actually lowering myself and dropping my professional standard a little bit to even respond to you. And I just... It's not getting through. So I have to make this video. Another thing you brought up. Uh, that I don't have any following on my uh, Axiom page. No, because that page is only six months old. I've been a DJ for a long time. I've been a DJ for over well over five years. And I've spun events all over the West Coast. I worked and resided in two different venues. I helped set up, promote, and co-run events over the course of those five years. So I know the realm of this DJ world very well. You, on the other hand, no one ever heard of. The only videos of you doing anything are just pantomiming like you're DJing in front of a green screen, wearing a ridiculous Slash costume, acting like an idiot. That's not what EDM, that's not what DJing, that's not what the rave world is about, dude. It's not about putting your big DJ dick out there and saying, See how big it is? See how many, wanna, many women want to sniff coke off it? It's, it's about having a passion for something and sharing that passion with other people. Anyone can just say that, but to actually do it is a completely different ballpark. And I don't think that you're really legitimately the kind of person who wants to give that. And I know it really isn't my place to make that statement, but from what I've seen of your character, from what I've seen of how you've insulted people, it basically insulted your hosts almost, you know... In a way, I'm sort of glad that you didn't win this because it would have been a mark against them. The GFW people have been nothing but cool to me. And yes, I will admit they're kind of slow in responding to posts but the, and messages, but the thing is they're organizing an event. When you organize an event, I mean, you got a million and one things going on, okay? you got to fucking worry about your logistics of getting your gear in, set up. Making sure that setup goes to plan, making sure that everything is running fucking smoothly. This is like ten times the level of stuff that I've spun at in the past, okay? This isn't just set up your table, plug in your your, your turntables, your decks and your mixer, you know, and uh, sound check for like 30 seconds. No, this is a legit big deal. So demanding them to just drop what they're doing and instantaneously answer... Oh, man. I mean, you really must be new to this whole thing. Anyway, like I said, cut it out. Okay? You're just making yourself look worse. And that's all there really is to it. You're just, you're making yourself look like a fucking unprofessional dick right now. And I really, I'm trying to, to do what I can to refrain from going full on some guy 827 on you here but seriously yeah man I wish you the best I really do anyway I'm some guy on the internet and I want to thank every single person that's on this channel for helping me win this contest
I am beyond words right now. And the fact is, you are the most awesome subscribers in the entire fucking site. You're smart people, you kick ass, you're all unique people, and you all are some of the most supportive, encouraging, positive energy filled, amazing people ever. DJing is a dream. DJing big events has been a dream of mine ever since I've been a kid. Ever since I've been doing the whole DJing thing. Ever since I actually started spinning in actual venues and events. This is what I want to do. You know, music is in my blood. I, you know, the guy I'm named after in my family was an amazing musician, and unfortunately, his life was cut very short. So, you know, I, I'm able to honor his memory in a way by being able to share my passion for DJing, share my passion for music, even if it's in just a band and it's not just straight up DJing with other people. And the fact that you're all as encouraging as you are and you keep pushing me to continue to go about this and to not ever give it up, that, oh my God, from the bottom of my heart, that literally means the world to me. And I love you guys. I straight up fucking love you guys for that. So thank you. Thank you for helping me win this contest. Thank you for all the support that you've given me in all the years that I've been on this website. Thank you for absolutely everything. I mean that. I love you guys. Anyway, I'm some guy on the internet, and so are you. Take it easy, and until next time, I will see you later.